Great morning, great morning. How are you guys doing? How was your Saturday? I hope it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um, the first thing I need you to do is to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by December. I just want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel recently. I appreciate everything. But anyway, back to the tea, y'all. Y'all, this is... Whew. So, you all know I've been covering the Brian Laundry case, correct? Well, guess who is on the case? You know, the FBI haven't been making a lot of leeway. So, we think, you know, Brian Laundry is still... Um, one a fugitive, we can say, allegedly. No, I'm just kidding. No, Brian, Brian Lundry is still out there. He still has yet to be found. So, Brian Walsh has been talking about it. And guess who came on the scene? You got it. Dog, baby. Dog the bounty hunter. Listen, yesterday, Dog went to the Dirty Lundry's house. Okay? He went to the Dirty Lundry's house. He knocked on the door. He made several attempts, you guys, to get, well, to give the parents an opportunity to, you know, to say, okay, yeah, we know where he is, or give them some type of information, something, some type of lead or whatever. They didn't answer the uh, door. So, dog said, you know, it's only a few places he could be, either in the Appalachian Trail that stretches from Georgia all the way up to Maine. Over 2,000 miles worth of trail. Or he could be in Mexico. And Dog said he's not in Mexico because if the cartel, he's a white guy. If the cartel see him in Mexico, you know what they're going to do. They're going to turn him in and get the bounty. The bounty is 20000 So he's not in Mexico. So he said he has to be in the Appalachian Trail. Now here's the real tea. Gabby Petito's family, rest in peace, Gabby, and um, prayers to her family for what happened to her. Um, but her friend said that Brian Laundry spent three months in the Appalachian Trail by himself. He said, she said that if it's anybody that could survive in the elements, in the environments of a forest, a wilderness, or whatever. It would be Brian Lundry. But Dog said, let me tell y'all something. I love Dog the Bounty Hunter. Dog said that rating Brian Lundry on the one being the worst he could be, uh, being a survivalist, to a 10 being like expert, right? He ranks Brian in around about six. He said the reason why he ranks him is about six because he said when he caught these two New Yorkers, they were in the forest. They were in the woods. And he said they were a 10. And they're nowhere like Brian. He said, we're going to find him. We're going to find him. And he said, all I need to do is get a scent. He said, those two New Yorkers that um, we were searching for, he said, we were 10 minutes off that trail. He said, all we need to do is find out the point of entry. If he indeed went into the Appalachian Trail, find a point of entry, and he is as good as caught. I said, that's what I'm talking about. He said, because the FBI, they only have so many means. Now, let me tell y'all something. Did y'all know they are spending $200,000 a day of taxpayers' money to look for this fool? <laughs> I'm just like, you got to be kidding me right now. And his parents, let me tell y'all something. Remember, his parents reported him missing. If your child was missing and Dog the Bounty Hunter showed up at your door to find your child, would you not want to answer the door and let Dog in? Of course. They didn't answer the door. So he said he's going to be caught. He said he would rather be caught by me, Dog the Bounty Hunter. He don't want to get caught by the FBI. The FBI might kill him. So I know his parents want to have him alive. I'm just like, man, this is just too much. It's just too much. And other news, you guys. Hold on. Let's take a commercial break. Okay? I'm getting ready to put some detox tea. This is ISO tea. Yeah, you guys, let me tell you something. If you're not having bowel movements every time, and I know y'all didn't get on here to talk about that, but 
If you're not having bowel movements every time you eat a meal, you're not cleaned out. And also, it's, if you've never detoxed before, this is really good. If you've never detoxed before, it's time to start detoxing. This ISOT is absolutely amazing, you guys. It, it, they come in different flavors. What I just put in my coffee is just regular. And I just put one of these in here. Let me tell you, I'm drinking my hot. There's no taste. You can add it to your coffee. You can drink it cold. You can put it in a water bottle and drink it up. I spilled some coffee on my cup. But anyway, it cleans your upper and lower intestines, all your vital organs. It's going to clean it all the way down to the cellular level. It helps with weight loss. It's not a weight loss product, but it does aid in weight loss and weight management. Also, um, if you have a problem with your skin, if you have a problem sleeping at night, the detox tea is absolutely amazing. You need to try some detox tea. If you want to try some detox tea, make sure you drop down in the description box. It's called IASOT. Some people call it LASO tea, but it's called IASOT. If you want to drop down in the description box, purchase your tea, your month's supply. And to tell you the truth, you guys, tomorrow starts the 15-day My Health Challenge Matters Challenge for 15 days. It's absolutely amazing. We got private Facebook groups. It's over 40,000 people that are in this group all over the world. And we are all trying to make our health matter in this season because we all know it does matter. But anyway... Back to other news. So, I don't know if you all watched the video from yesterday about Kelly Price. Kelly Price is a Grammy Award winning, not just nominated, Grammy Award winning R&B gospel singer. She sung with people like Ron Isley, just to name a few. Some of you all may know who the Isley brothers are. If you don't, look them up. But Kelly Price is indeed missing. Um, she got COVID on July the 29th. She was admitted into the hospital, into the ICU unit for COVID, and she was discharged out. Her family has not seen her since she's been discharged. It's been over a month. They haven't seen her. They haven't had any contact with her. So they issue a missing persons report. At this moment in time, Kelly Price is missing. Now, her fiancé, so we thought it was her fiancé, we found out later that she indeed married him in November 2020. <laughs> and all this time, Kelly Price never said anything, although if you look, she has a wedding ring on. I thought it was an engagement ring. I didn't know she was married. But she married this gentleman. His name is Darrell Crump. And um, Darrell Crump has several domestic violence charges. He's very controlling with Kelly Price. And her family, her family and her fans as well are worried for her safety. It's not like Kelly Price not to be visible on social media. It's not even like her to not be in contact with her children or her sister. She's lost over 18 family members to C-19. She lost her mother, her grandmother, her aunties, it's so many people. 18 people from the beginning of C-19 till nine, now 18 has passed away due to C-19. So please keep Kelly Price in your prayers. Um, also, let's pray that Brian Laundrie is called. And he is not wasting any more of taxpayers' money. $200,000 is a lot of money. And the FBI put in a lot of effort. But the fact of the matter is, the FBI only have a limited amount of resources. And dog can search. Like, that's his own private business. And then you also have people like me, the YouTube investigators, the YouTube police department out here. That's what I call us. <laughs> that's investigating this case. And um, whatever information that you have, um, because YouTubers can search when the police can't. You know, we're not limited 
by the finances, like the police department. Um, the people who are going to solve this case is going to be the public. Somebody has to give him a ride. Somebody has to give him something. You know, somebody's got to help him. So if you run across Brian Laundry, turn him in. Call authorities. When you see him, call authorities. ASAP. So that is it for today. I hope you all have an amazing, amazing Sunday. And um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe this video. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all my new subbies. Thank you. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I'll talk to you guys later.